Hey guys, B1 Studios here, and today I have a rather interesting Adobe Audition tutorial for you, and we're going to go over an effect that's sort of like pitch warping, which is what I think of as sort of warping the pitch downward towards maybe the end of an audio track, and we're going to use a couple of simple effects to generate this in Audition. So the soundtrack that I'm actually going to be using is, again, from Incompetech, and it is Unity by Kevin McLeod, and I believe I've used this track in another tutorial before, but just in case you want to follow along with whatever I am doing in this tutorial, you can take a look at the link that I have dropped down in the description. And so what we're basically going to be doing is, here is an unedited file of the soundtrack. Take a listen. All right, so that was the unedited file, and what we will be doing with that is warping the pitch downward towards the end. So this is a little bit of what that sounds like. Okay, so pretty interesting effect. So without further ado, let's get started. So I actually already have Audition opened up right here and I'm going to take this Unity file. I actually took the first 10 seconds of it, I believe. And so I'm going to drag and drop that right into Audition. And as you can see, we have our file here, and uh, it's looking pretty nice. And what I'm going to do now is first select the portion of the audio file that I want to warp down. In this case, I'm going to select around 10 seconds towards the end. So now that I have that portion selected, what I'm going to do is go up to Effects, time and pitch, and then manual pitch correction. And what this is going to allow me to do is actually show the uh, spectral display. I can actually warp the pitch in cents down up to 500 cents. Hopefully that made sense, no pun intended, but now we can see the actual line of our pitch going downward. And if we play that back, obviously I don't have any sound going out into this recording, but the pitch is warping down. And so once I'm happy with that, I will simply hit apply and it's going to apply my manual pitch correction. So now that I have this pitch actually warping down, Make sure you keep this area selected because you want to use this same selection to actually apply the next effect, which is called Under Effects Special, the Doppler Shifter. Now, I've already toyed with this a little bit and played with the settings, and I've sort of concluded that for me, this was the best setting that I could find. Under the Doppler shifter, make sure your path type is set to line, your starting distance away is 0 meters, velocity 50 meters per second, coming from 275 degrees, passes in front by 25 meters, passes on right by 0 meters, and then adjust volume based on, and these two checkboxes should automatically be checked, but just uncheck them and click OK. Alright, so now we've applied our Doppler shifter 
and if we play this back this is actually the exact effect that was produced in the little edited excerpt that I shared with you at the beginning of this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and play this from the beginning and see how it sounds now. All right, so now that we are done with it, we will go through our regular procedure for exporting a file. Go up to File, Export File, and I will go ahead and simply save it on my desktop for now, and we will name this Pitchwork. and we'll go ahead and hit save. You can include markers and other metadata if you want, but I'm going to uncheck that to eliminate the package file, which I don't really need at the moment. And go ahead and hit OK. And since I'm saving to MP3, it's going to tell me about some lossy audio quality warnings, but I'll just hit yes. And right away, we have our final file which has the pitch warped down in the last few seconds. So that's about all I've got. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it, and I will catch you guys next time.